country, I'm gonna eat a lot of peaches. I'm moving through the country, I'm gonna eat a lot of peaches. Cause I'm moving to the country, I'm gonna eat me a lot of peaches. I'm moving to the country, I'm gonna eat me a lot of peaches. Cause I'm moving to the country, I'm gonna eat me a lot of peaches. Cause I'm moving to the country, I'm gonna eat me a lot of peaches. Cause I'm moving to the country, I'm gonna eat me a lot of peaches. I got that song stuck in my head. But moving to the country. What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of July Flies Home Cooking and Grilling. And today, I'm going to be doing some more home cooking for you guys. I'm going to be doing an old peach cobbler. Everybody love peach cobbler, especially with a dab of that vanilla bean ice cream on top. You can't go wrong with that. Let's get into some of these products we're going to be using in today's cook. Let's go. We got our doll peach slices. Wife was on the run yesterday, so she actually just picked these up from Target. This was all they had, but this will work perfectly. We actually got two of these. You feel me? We're gonna be using two cups of sugar, and the reason it is divided, cause we're gonna be adding one to our batter, and we're gonna be adding one to the peaches. We also have a cup and a half of self-rising flour. I like self-rising flour because it already have baking powder in it. No need to add none to the flour. That makes it easier for me. So that's a A-OK -okay in my book. Let's go. We also gonna be using a cup and a half of 2% milk. You can use whole milk. This is what I had in the fridge. So this is what I'm gonna be using. You feel? Half a cup of water. Simple as that. And you need your McCormick's ground cinnamon. Yummy. So those are the products we're gonna be using in today's cook. Let's go ahead to the kitchen and we can get this peach cobbler rolling. All right, now that we in the kitchen, I have preheated my oven to 350 degrees like a while ago. I basically got my peaches and the juice in my pot. What I'm gonna be doing now is I'm gonna add one cup of sugar to the peaches I'm gonna add a, the half a cup of water to the peaches. Then we basically gonna get this a stir, get all that sugar mixed up. Turn this up. Basically be adding a little cinnamon. Man, cinnamon smells delicious. All right, got that all mixed up, good to go. All right, we're gonna let that simmer for 10 minutes and let's go on over here and get this cobbler ready. All right, let's get this cobbler mixed up. First thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna take the other cup of sugar that we had. We're gonna add that. We're gonna add our cup and a half of flour. We're gonna get this mixed all up. Once that flour and that sugar is mixed up, we're gonna be adding our milk. You wanna do this very slowly to avoid clumping. All right, that was the start. I ain't gonna use my handheld. That ain't necessary. All right, YouTube, now that we got our cobbler mixed up, basically what I did is I put the butter in our baking dish, I put that in the oven because we want that to be completely melted. Our peaches are over there simmering. They got a couple more minutes, but I'll come back to you guys when it's time to put everything together. I'll see you soon. All righty there. All right, everything is finished. Our butter is melted. Our cobbler mixture is made and our peaches have simmered and they're smelling delicious. So basically the first thing you want to do is you want to take your batter, you want to pour that. All 
in there. Just pour it all in there. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking our peaches, laying them on top. This is the special thing about the self-rising flower because the self-rising flower is going to rise over these peaches. Once you got all of your peaches out of there, just take some of the juice. Pour that in there. Once you got everything put together and it looks like this, you basically want to put it in the oven for 30 to 45 minutes. I'm gonna check it after 30 minutes, see where we at. If I can pull it, I'll pull it. But if it needs a little longer, I'm gonna let it go closer to the 45 minutes. But that's basically it. So we basically gonna get this in the oven and I'll see you guys in 30 minutes when it's time to check this peach cobbler yeah I'll see you soon wow did I scare you welcome back YouTube it has been 30 minutes let's go on and get this peach cobbler a looking at all right YouTube as you can see it got some good color on it it's looking real good, that golden brown. That's what I'm looking for. It has only been 30 minutes, so the 45 minutes wasn't necessary. So I always go with the first time. 30 minutes to 45 minutes, go with the 30 minutes, or at least check it. And if it's ready, pull it. If it's not, let it cook a little longer. But this is definitely ready, so let's get this out the oven. All right. As you can see, we took our peach cobbler out of the oven. It is looking fantastic. So basically what we're gonna do now is let this rest for about 30 minutes at the most. And when it is done resting, we can cut into it, put some ice cream on top, and we can give this a taste. And I'll let you guys know how it tastes. So I'll see you guys in the next 30 minutes. We'll be set up on the bar area to show you finished product and how finished product tastes. See you guys soon. All right, YouTube, it has been 30 minutes. Peach cobbler is cooled and it's looking delicious. So what I'm about to do now is cut into it, put it on the plate and give it a taste. Bars. That looks delicious. Let me not tease y'all no more. All right, now that I got my piece selected, Let's go on and get this peach cobbler a taste. Mm. Oh, I'm cooking. You wanna try this at home? Feel free, you won't be disappointed because it is damn good. But now that we got that out the way, as y'all know, I appreciate every subscriber I get. So make sure you subscribe, you like, and you comment on my channel. If you do come by my channel and you actually enjoy what you've seen, a little comedy, good cooking, subscribe and hit that bell so you can be notified on when I do another video. Until we meet again, out.